Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to another Monday Morning Art Talk. Whippy! I'm excited today to have Eva. She is the founder, creator, the sole proprietor, doing all this on her own Ground Zero Animation Expo. And today we just kind of want to discuss what does it take to start something like this and do something on your own and take risks and be an entrepreneur. And I think it's just uh, very important. You guys are going to get a lot of uh, good insight out of this. And I hope you enjoy it. And I hope to see you at Ground Zero Animation Expo June 8th. Nope, 9th and 10th. So, all right, without further ado, here we go. Cut, cut, cut. Here we go. So without further ado, here is Eva. And what this whole art topic's gonna be about today, the art talk is really about entrepreneurship, about taking risks, and because it's scary. And sometimes people get afraid to do things for many reasons. And I, when I first met you, um, I remember I was at San Diego Comic Con. I remember I was walking by and you just grabbed me and you just said, Stephen Silver. And I turned around and you had a little table there. And I don't know if you remember that or not. Um, and you told me about what you were doing. So um, I just want to let people know about your, you tell people what it is that you do and what, what did you start? You actually, Eva has started the Ground Zero Animation Expo. This is going into its third year now, correct? Yep. On this, which is just like, I mean, if you ever think about starting something just from an idea, and that's what everything starts from is an idea, and just just following through, but you did it. You, you said, I want to start something, you did it, but it goes a little bit further beyond that because you had started something prior. So um, tell everyone a little bit about what you do and how you got started in animation and everything that you do with all the creative things that you do do. Sure, I will explain that. No, um, <laughs> I, I, well, I grew up in a small town where we didn't have any kind of enrichment programs. Um, I grew up in the 80s and the 90s, so for me, it's not what it is today. There wasn't internet until I was almost out of high school. And um, I really lacked uh, what I needed to learn to break into animation or even go to a, the right college. Um, so I applied for some colleges and unfortunately I didn't get into any, but it also boosted me into starting my own businesses. So I hate to say, don't go to college. You you know right. should definitely get an education, but it just wasn't a, for me at the time. So I moved to LA in about 2000 and, um, I did what every young 18, 19 year old girl does. I just struggled and worked, you know, restaurants, whatnot. And I, um, I had always done like face painting. So I started my own face painting business and, uh, I'm still doing it regularly. Um, now, so that was like a creative side. I taught cartooning in after school programs, which started to get me more involved with, uh, cartooning. I worked, um, um, as an intern, basically, at one of the schools that's no longer open, uh, that shall not be named. Okay. And, um, and I was exchanging classes for working, um, like art classes, in exchange for working the front desk. So that kind of started my connections with people and teaching me how to network. Um, I got to know um, some really amazing people that did concept art, and I knew, like, I somehow wanted to be in animation without being in animation. I just wanted to maybe connect with people. Um, it's something that excites me. Um, I love concept art. I love character design. I mean, you are Steven Silver. So, you know, I was a big fan watching you with, uh, you know, all your work with Kim Possible when, when I was working with the kids. Um, and so that kind of stuff really got me cool and in, into more stuff. And then as time went on, I moved to Orange County in 2006. And what I noticed in Orange County was there was really at that time, there wasn't a lot of um, uh, art culture out here, um, especially not comic cons and all that like we have now in Anaheim. So I thought and thought and thought and my friend and I started craft shows. 
which they were nerdy craft shows. And that was before all that. There was only like your grandma's church show and selling their, their yarn goods and all that. So um, within three months, we were offered a store um, to sell wow. consignment for artists. Um, I still hadn't really gotten my major connections with anyone in the industry at that point. I just kind of uh, was grabbing local artists only that were doing more handmade stuff. Um, after two years of being pretty successful with our small business, our shop, uh, we split up because she had a, a daughter and I wanted to focus on fan art. And during those two years of our store, um, I was going and attending all these comic cons. And I was walking around handing out our business card saying, hey, I have a store. I want to represent you as an artist. Nice. I know that you work in the industry, but you're kind of just, you're just another number. And I, I hate to say that, right. but, you know, you didn't have sure. your own out there. They just were known for working on a film at such and such. So I started taking prints by some pretty famous artists now, but back at the time, they didn't even have their foot in the door. So it's been pretty exciting watching people I began selling for from Artist Alley and selling their prints in my shop, their books, everything. Um, those relationships grew. I started networking more. I mean, I think I knew more people in the industry just selling for people than people in the industry because they stayed to themselves. Right. So I started to feel like a muse. I felt like I was somebody that was giving them a voice. And um, we started doing pop-up shows at my store um, and the, the store prior that I had with a friend. And they were really successful because we were doing galleries where there was a signing with it. And a lot of galleries in LA, I mean, I drive all that way to LA from Anaheim and I walk into a gallery, one, I couldn't see the art because everybody's mingling and it's a hangout. Right. And it's less about the artists and the artwork and more about just, I don't know, hanging out. And I was getting really upset by it, um, especially after a drink was kind of dropped on me. And oh, jeez. I was like, no more. I'm okay. not driving all the way to LA for this. So I started my own galleries and yeah, they're fan art. I'm, I'm very picky about fan art. I, I, there's a fine line. Um, so I really like original art as well. Um, but I cater towards comic gaming and, and animation. So I think our, our first big show was the Don Bluth tribute show. And that's when everybody came out and said, this is so cool. I got to meet people signing during the gallery and it was just filled with people in front of the store. How did you get all the people to come about? Was that just when you were going to the conventions, you were just, you were handing out all the cards, just saying, hey, oh, this yeah. is happening and... and yeah, and, and I'm a big, firm believer in, I can only reach X amount of people. Right. It's up to those artists to get their crowd. Now, this is before Instagram is what it is now. I mean, it was there, but yeah. people weren't totally on it at that point. How many years ago so, are we talking? When was this? Um, That was, I want to say 2004. 13 okay possibly, yeah about 2013 maybe 2014 okay. and it did so well and people were going in and buying the artwork because they met the artist nice yeah so it, yeah I'm I'm always like testing waters and trying new things and saying that didn't work this did work and you can only know by trying right, right? yeah and so then as I was closing my store um, due to small business we were in a hidden retail location so people would drive right past us okay um, won't even go into that story. The hmm. point is, I was closing and I went, there's no way I could have done all of this like for such a great cause. And then it just dies because I close a retail brick and mortar. Yeah. So let me carry it into actual shows. So we started the Artist Lodge, which is still happening. And I have a creative curator, uh, Marissa um, Sudo, who is also a phenomenal artist, um, not in animation. She just does it for herself. Um, I let her start curating because she wanted to learn and she's taken that into a whole new direction. So those happen four times a year. And then ground zero is my baby. I, that's why I passed off the curating for the other shows. I just went, this is what I know. This is what I love. I'm not trying to get into studios. That's not, I already know my, right. my time has come and gone and I'm okay with that. Um, but if I can help one kid get into animation and learn about it before they get in and, and understand what they want um, or change their ideas. I know there was a girl that said character design, character design, but talking to storyboard artists, she went, okay, wait, I want to be a storyboard artist. Right, right. That's just from attending one of our shows. And like she changed her whole outlook on yeah. animation and now her portfolio has grown and she talks to so many of the people in the industry. Yeah. And she was so shy when she started. Right, so yeah. 
that is why I do Ground Zero. That is why I, I just want to create those connections how I found them, but in a comfortable, safe area that's very intimate. You're not fighting to get to the professionals. You can walk right up and say, hey, can you look at this? Right, and right. Say, you know, I'm really busy right now, but a little bit later. And I think my professionals are amazing and they take the time and yeah, their hearts yeah. in it. And if, if they're not into it, they'll find out that year and they just won't come back the next year. But I keep the people that are genuinely excited for what we're doing. And what made you want to then at that point, like how, or how scary was it to sort of start it? Like, because at that point, I mean, you'd already done the lodge, you've done the retail store, you had a, you've built up some experience, you've built up connections you know, which helps, you've started all that, you're putting all the, the legwork, I mean, nothing just happens, you know, you can't yeah, just right. pop up this tent and all of a sudden say, everyone come, you know, and be there, it's, it's going to take a lot of work, it sort of reminds me of just, I, I, I love the movie The Greatest Showman, uh, which is out in the movie theaters, but with, um, uh, what's his name, uh, Jay, and I, uh, Wolverine, no, yeah, I, no, no, um, and, you know, just starting the, the whole circus, but it's the idea of just promoting and getting it out and getting the name out there and you build yeah. things from from all that. So, but when you were starting this, when you were starting Ground Zero, yeah. like what was, were, were you were you concerned at all? Were you, were you worried about who's gonna, what's gonna happen, who's gonna show up? I mean, there's your time, there's the investment, there's, I mean, that's something that, you just don't do, you know, most people just don't do it and say, I'm going to start a, a, an expo. I'm going to start this show and boom. What do you remember? Do you recall what you were going, what was happening? Well, one, I'm a firm believer in you live once and no one's going to do anything for you. No one's going to give you handouts. Uh, networking is important because you might make a connection that will help you. But all in all, I mean, no one's going to say, you should do that. Let me help you. I just had to take that leap of faith. And yeah. I felt like I knew enough people at that time. The professionals were easy to get. It was getting the, the crowd to come and make my professionals feel like it was a good show. Right. So I, I think you remember at the end of it, we were like, wow, for one day, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. No, I remember. Yeah, I remember. So I, I, that was the first year when I, when I had gone to the first year and it was in this uh, little lodge area. It was one room and it was just, I thought it was so amazing because of how intimate it was at that moment. And like you said, when you got the, the professionals that were there that were, were able to show up and participate and they were doing, we were doing panels and, and things and the accessibility for people just to walk around and it wasn't, it was just felt there's such a grassroots. There was such a great vibe to it. And I know that you've talked about just, it's about maintaining that. It's just like keeping that and going into this third year. Now you're getting into a, a bigger space now. Can you tell everyone just a little bit about what's, what's happening sure. this year and, and what sort sure. of change behind it? Yeah. What was really funny is the first year I did it, uh, the response I got after, you know, of course you're going to get, uh, uh, constructive criticism, sure. which is fine. You yeah. can't grow up without you hearing that. feedback. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I would tell people very honestly, like, well, to keep it this way, I can't be doing these things right. or professionals have to pay for their booth. Yeah. Um, you know, I've, I've been to the big expos, I've been to the big cons and that's great and all, but there is something so like romantic about the idea of just keeping it small. And, um, I don't know, sometimes I think smaller things, uh, are more simplistic is yeah. even better than making everything complicated. So when the first year I started, that was my only location that offered me a low enough affordable space. It wasn't the prettiest. No, but it's the same thing I tell people is you can live in the smallest little home, but it's what fills it that makes it a right. home. Yeah. Uh, it, it was the knowledge in there. It was the experience. Oh, it yeah. was the one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. It didn't matter where we were. We right. could have been on the front yard. It, it doesn't matter. And that's when people were writing me saying, okay, where are you take, getting a hotel in Anaheim next year? Are you coming up here? And I go, you know what? No, because I need to take it easy. Yeah. It's just me running it. And that's the one thing right. people don't know is – it it's is all just you. me. Yeah. There's yeah. nobody in it, and that's how it's I keep my own low. Is I just crack out as much work as I can while doing my own work. Yeah. And working on my own art, and then um, this last year we were offered a spot that unfortunately fell through, and again won't go into that. Um, <coughs> well, you know, I mean, it's good to know. I mean, the thing to go into it is really about that. 
when one bridge, when one door closes, another one opens oh, because sure. you feel like, oh my God, I've put in all this work and time and I was counting on this and it didn't work out. And, and how do you, how do you handle that? How, how did you handle that process when this location, you know, didn't work out, you know, I mean, I know it's stressful. It has to be, it's, it's gotta be, you're putting in your time and your effort and things go horribly wrong, but it, it's always, again, my belief, just as much as it is yours, that it's okay. You know, some yeah, things right. may be going to be better for it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I believe everything happens for a reason. Yeah. I don't test the universe. I don't believe in bad things and good things. I think it's yin and yang. Yeah. Right? We yeah. need a balance in life. Absolutely. So I'm not saying for every bad thing a good thing's going to happen, but... Um, I wasn't stressed and I stayed positive and I just went, okay, if that's not the right spot, then there's going to be somewhere that gets what we're doing. And thank goodness, networking connections, somebody said, Hey, even closer to LA, there's the boys and girls club. And all I thought was I've allotted for three classrooms. If they have three classrooms, right. it's, I will make it work. I don't yeah. care if half are outside, I will discount the up and coming tables. Like I'll do whatever I have to do. I got there and not only did they have open arms, they uh, the, the director there had just met me that day, but everyone else on the staff had met me through time of different events they had had. And, um, and he just said, he's sitting in his chair and I go, okay, here's the pitch. So I got this great show. I have these amazing industry professional and he looks at me and goes, just what day do you want? And uh -huh. I was like, oh, and I was so dressed up. I like had my pamphlet. I'm like, and this is ground zero. Right, right. He just went, yeah, 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 I get it. I know the person you know. They've been dedicated to us for 20 years. We owe them. You got it. And I was like, okay. Nice. Well, not only did, did they take my show, they took the Artist Lodge show, and they now are offering it to them for their May show. Wow. Which is happening there. So, I mean, like, again, total blessing. Today I went back to, like, re- the first walkthrough, I didn't get to take in okay. measurements and all that. I just said, I'll come back. I walked in and the first thing that I noticed was everything will be indoors. There will not be half outside, half inside. Right. Everyone is inside in a very comfortable spot. Um, and they had exactly three classrooms. Wow. And I was just like, I cried. I'm like, wow, lie. that's so great. Yes, yeah, it's like <laughs> meant yeah. to be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I was like, hey, we're going to have um, a portfolio review session throughout the day. And it's just one person. And they're very kind. And they're like, what do you need? I said, I need one of your offices, but I promise we won't steal anything. And they went, sure, no problem. And I'm like, whereas the other place, there was a lot of rules because it's nonprofit. I mean, right. Boys and Girls Club is nonprofit, but they're a little more, bit more understanding. Yeah. This other one is run a different way. It's a school ground. So they were very like we need this and you have to do this. And I was like, Oh, and I started to feel nervous because I was like the day of as a school, if they have yeah. summer classes and they need the rooms, yeah, they basically told me they couldn't guarantee anything. And I understand them. That's, that's what they have to do, but I needed a guarantee and boys and girls clubs like we're closed. So it's yours. It's amazing. And, it's amazing. Yeah. yeah. You're just sort of like following through with an idea and can you never know, how anything's going to pan out. I think as long as you set that goal, like you set that goal, you started it and now it's unfolding. And again, I just, yeah, I, I remember that. I unfortunately wasn't able to make it to the second one because I was traveling. But the first one, I just remember there was just something, there was that energy and there was that feeling like here's just a bunch of artists and there were a bunch of really talented professionals there and a bunch of students and a bunch of people were coming through and they just felt like, Everyone could talk to everyone, and it just kind of felt like it was, I don't know, like a Christmas party or something, and in some kind of fun, in some sort of fun way, and, and just maintaining that, I thought just was um, really awesome. And so, well, what can people expect, uh, like this year, I know like the tickets are free, so people yeah. can people can just come for free. Yeah, and that, you know what, I did get an email, so this is perfect that we were talking about this. I got an email today with a little bit of confusion, and I totally understand. I am no web designer. I'm trying to make it as simple as possible. There are, there are, there are three different types of tickets, basically. There's a free ticket. Do you need the ticket to walk in the door? You don't. Good. Yeah, However, that's awesome. it helps us understand how many people might be attending, right. how many staff members we have to hire yeah. from Boys and Girls Club. Um it's good just to pick one of those up just so we have it also prints out all your information on your phone. 
Um, so you won't be like, where, where was it again? You right, know, it's right. Just that's gonna awesome. Have one. So, yeah. That's the free ticket. That's great. So parking is free. We have a four, almost four and a half story little garage. Um, and once that fills up, they said that Food for Less understands that Boys and Girls Club, it's right by the police station. People can park there. Um, second, there's the panel tickets. Now, because we're limited to three classrooms and two days and so many amazing professionals wanted to teach workshops, which I'm floored by. I yeah. didn't expect that, but I thought maybe five classes. We filled up so so fast, and I lost the extra classrooms from the school that even adding our Amanda Jolly character design class just limited all of our classes all day long. So there are some people that bought panel tickets for $10 a day, and they're like, oh, the panel I wanted to go to is the same time as this demo. Right. And I'm like, we will refund you. It is no problem. Yeah. It, I understand. And we cannot guarantee that they can get into the panels I can say though, right now, our panel tickets are still totally available, and there's definitely room, and no one would be turned away from a panel. And just ten ten dollars for a panel ticket. For ten bucks, yeah, you that's go awesome. To any panel that yeah, day. yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah, wow, um, it's and awesome. That money is covering our overhead. Because yeah, which you need, and I think that's the thing. People know that, you know, you have yeah. to know. People know that a business, you just can't run something for absolutely free. You got the overhead. You got to pay for the tables. You got to yep. pay for the right. chairs. The you know, you want to hook up the people that are working with you and helping you that's out. Right. You know, it's just all these right. different things. So I mean, that's totally. So, yeah. I mean, and yeah. You know, I, th I think it's awesome. I think it's such a great concept that you've done where it's just kind of free to come in. Um, mm -hmm. Just get, because then people can walk around and even just meet the artists there and have that sure. come. And that's where the networking is. You know, people go, you know, it's just, I I'd say for the people that are coming, networking is coming and be prepared with questions, sort of know what you want to ask about, but you can have character designers, you can have concept storyboard people, you can have everyone that sort of represents something in the animation. You know, Absolutely. That, so, and yeah. then you have your up and coming artists who are always inspiring these new kids coming in. I mean, we have vendors this year that last year attended as like a, I was going to apply, but I didn't know. And then they'd meet me and I'd be like, it doesn't hurt. The worst thing that's going to happen is we just don't have room to fit everybody. And right. you just keep trying. There's, yeah. Don't give up because again, giving up, nothing's going to yeah. happen. The worst uh, thing that can happen is that the place gets so crowded with so many people that the fire marshal from the fire station across the street comes in and says, we got to sort of like shut this down. Too many people yeah, in here right too, now, you yeah, know, and then, you yeah. know, next year is going to just keep growing and it's not to outgrow it, but to the point where, hey, we just need a bigger space and there's people yeah. wanting to get in. And again, again, it's that sort of network and I think a great opportunity for people who want to get familiar with how the industry works because then they can talk to the professionals while they were there. And I think that's always the greatest um, asset, you know, when you're putting together something like this. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And the, and the third ticket is if you want to sit basically in a classroom setting with a professional diving into what they know best or doing a demo or a tutorial with you and you get to paint along or whatever it is. Oh, really? Those okay. are an extra ticket, but those I do pay the professionals. Um, so they pr they price their ticket and they okay. can't go for $20. So those range. But like Amanda Jolly, to take her class, she was so excited to be teaching something for Ground Zero, which I was honored because I'm a huge yeah, fan. Yeah, yeah. Um, she was like, yeah, I remember I did it at school. It was like $100 a ticket. I mean, that's not the exact price. Yeah, yeah. She goes, oh, shoot, let's just do it for 20 bucks a person. And right now there's five tickets left for her class. And she's only teaching one on Saturday wow, morning. Wow, great. So those are an extra ticket. But the yeah. way I looked at it was, what if you were a student and you had $100? Right. You could do so many things with $100 yeah. at our show. Yeah. And you're going to feel like, wow, I got so much out of it. Plus, we have an amazing photo op that I'm so excited about because I think it's important to take photos and share about yeah. your experience at Ground Zero. But two... Um, oh, which was put on by Urge Palette, I should say, okay. one of our sponsors. Um, and then the other thing is we're going to have um, a model come in just throughout the day in full costume or throughout the weekend at different times. And you can just grab a chair in that corner and draw. Just get right on. Okay. That's free. That's free yeah, 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 yeah. 
tip tip the tip. Sure, the yeah, 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 yeah. She yeah. is so amazing. She has always backed and supported me. Um, but Shannon Blair is awesome, and she uh, she was a volunteer the last two okay. years. Um, helping out, and this year she's going to come in her full cosplay costumes. I think you know it's, it's it gets back. To, I, I like what you're doing too, and I think it's important that because it taps into value. I mean, value. I mean, I think all artists need to just understand value. They, everyone wants to make a living doing yeah. this, and I think I, I love the idea that you're doing that with the workshops, but you're paid that your money is going to the. Uh, the people who are doing the workshops too, right. as well as, you know, you, you know, it's like, mm -hmm. because every, it has to be a women's situation. And I love Absolutely. that about that sort of concept. Um, because I think that's, that's vital too, because it shows that you value the artists, the professionals that you're bringing in, you're valuing their time as they're coming right. in there, which is, which is awesome. And I think, yeah. And so what sort of panels are going to be there? I know you have the, the GZA expo.com where people can go and yeah, look at all the panels and everything. So, are, are there? What can you just tell us about? Just some of the um, sure. panels or information. I know that I'm gonna be on um, a couple of them there. I think yeah. I'm not sure which one. I signed. I was hitting buttons and signing up. <laughs> That's I just, okay. It's I love the event. I love it. I love it. So I was like, hey man, <laughs> sign me up for this. Sign me up for yeah. that. You know. Well, it's funny. Like I said, two days is starting to feel like not enough. That maybe next time either the right. hours get longer. Or we do a third day, but um, we wanted to do like two character design panels a day. So if someone was in a demo, they could go. But unfortunately, due to location, we couldn't do that. So I want people to know I do want to do that eventually. Uh, number two, um, you can go on panels like being a parent in animation, which I think is extremely important because uh, Katya Bowser is a, is a huge promoter for being a parent in animation, and she draws her struggles of being a mom and juggling work and living huge, her dream of huge. that. Yeah. So That's I great. think you you had said, hey, if you need me in there, but yeah. there's something like that. Um, there's uh, obviously storyboard, more a generic group panel. Then you could do storyboard with somebody else, like in a in an actual workshop. Um, we have character design is always a huge one to ask for. Um, I think. Oh gosh, you put me on the spot. Now I'm like, oh, what else do we have? Go um, to the side. Go to the side because I know you're. Uh, you, you've you've listed a lot of things and you've got a bunch of people who are, they still haven't made the full commit. You know, you're still going to be like writing, putting people's names yeah. down. I know yeah. that you've started to list some of the professionals that are going to be there yeah. and you're still adding more to the list as people keep coming we are, on. We are. And, and luckily um, I had a couple people on reserve. Um, they are from out of town and we were just kind of waiting to announce them, but we have uh we are talking about two new people that are extremely great. One has already done the expo and people come specifically for her. Um, but I haven't gotten all her info yet and I don't want to put it out okay, yet. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I'm really excited because the space actually, when I measured today, I was like, oh, you actually can fit in there comfortably. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I had already had her on the list. Unfortunately, we just weren't sure. And now that we've moved and it's uh, official. But yeah, my tables are full. Um, I'm just waiting on a couple more headshots on people that were traveling and couldn't get all the info to me. So keep watching the Instagram post, the Facebook. There is a Facebook page for Ground Zero. Okay. And we have an event page. And I list everything happening in there and like what's coming up. And then we have a blog on the website. Too. And I'll put those down. So those links oh. just right down below on the um, information just for people can access. So it's going to be um, Ground Zero Animation Expo. It's uh, June 9th and 10th uh, from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. It's yep. at the Boys and Girls Club in Stanton, uh, which is Orange County. It's near Anaheim, right? Near so. Anaheim, near Garden Grove, yeah. And a lot of people go, oh, no, Stanton. And I promise you, I would not do it if it seems scary. <laughs> but it's right next to the police station, City Hall, and uh, Stanton's library, public library. It's a really nice area. Um, I'm telling people to get there early because one parking will be right in that parking lot. Okay. Not that parking's too difficult in Orange County. It's pretty easy. But two is that we will have swag bags for the first so many people each day filled with goods. So I'm really encouraging people to get there early and it's professional to always be on time. That's if right. Not early. <laughs> so professionalism is another thing we want to teach. And that's why, you know, we, we want our professionals to be on time and, and share what they know and be honest because I think there's a lot of um, 
uncertainty going into the industry. I have a few friends working brand new in there and they're like, I just am guessing as I go because yeah. I wasn't even prepared yeah. out of school. So I think my show is really good at teaching people what to expect if they get into the industry. And also again, just to, to be okay with it. It's not failure. It's just, you know, if something's not the right time, you just keep working hard. And, and, um, also people are interested in either being a professional at ground zero or they want to be in the up and coming section. It's really important. You attend the show this year yeah. because if you're just wanting to get in, it's not a comic con. It's not there for selling. Right. The selling is a perk. Yeah. The main point of being there is for the atmosphere and the networking. And speaking of which, I'm so excited that Town um, ooh, Town Park Brewery is a brand new brewery that opened up uh, mm. right down the street. Not in, Well, I say right down the street, right yeah. by Disneyland. And um, they just rented me their giant room, which unfortunately is 21 and over. Okay. But we do have yeah. an older crowd and um, people can hang out outside. <laughs> they right. take them in. Um, but we are going to have some mingling and networking for professionals that drove all the way out. Um, When's that, that going to be? Is that going to be on the Saturday night? That'll be on Saturday okay, night. Okay, nice, mm-hmm. nice. So it'll be like as soon as you're done, the room is already booked. You can head right over, get yourself a refreshing drink and uh and it'll be just a really good time to hang out and catch up and then anyone that needs to go home that night back to la get up and drive back the next day or if you're staying out here but um it's awesome and what what would you say to all the 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 young women out there and and people who are just like i don't know that maybe just don't think it's possible just to kind of i mean even you you started doing with the you do and you still do doing the face painting and you know I started by doing caricatures. I was yeah. I started to learn how to do balloon animals because I was going to start doing balloon animals at parties. What would you say into just uh, you know just young young men and women out there that that are just starting because you've gone through it. You've taken that. You've built up your 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 livelihood doing this. On on top of that, you're starting this whole other endeavor and you just keep building. Well, what advice? What do you have to I say? I mean, again, it, no one's going to hand anything to you. Um, you're going to have people that will support you. You'd be actually surprised how many support you in doing something you're really interested in. Um, and again, there's going to be hurdles. There's going to, you cannot grow if right. there's nothing to grow from. Yeah. Um, and the success is the exciting part because if it starts at one place and only keeps growing, I know that I feel better. It's a lot of extra work, but like, it's so rewarding at the end of the yeah. day to say that you created something or, I mean, I couldn't do it without everyone that's been involved. Sure, I, it's sure. not a show I run by myself and then I show up and I'm right. the person doing it all. It takes everybody. But, um, but again, I, if I never did it, I would feel like there was this hole. Like yeah. again, it's just time wasted. Yeah. So if you want to yeah. do something great and you want to really try, I mean, you've got to, I know it sounds so cheesy, but you've got to give it like 110% because you can't have something yeah and yeah. uh and these are late hours i work really really hard i'm balancing two things it's like having three jobs instead of two yeah um but again the reward is great and i've had things i've tried that didn't do well i've lost friendships through things because people want their own opinions on your th- on your stuff and right. it is what it is um you just got to learn to cut ties with things that are drawing you down or negative and you just got to focus on what it is that you were you were first doing. And a mission statement is extremely important because you can come back to it, stare at it, and put out positive vibes. And I do affirmations. Yeah, I no, just, that's... I just say positive yeah, things. Yeah, absolutely. You know? No, I mean, that, that's so important. I kind of think that it comes down to these factors of number one, like you have is the narrative. You know what it is that you're trying to achieve. You wanted to create this Ground Zero Animation Expo. You wanted to create the other things that you had set up previously. And then from there, the next step is you put in the work, you're putting in the time. And the third thing is the timing and just believing yeah. that, it, you know, it's some things are going to take longer than others. Some things will happen, you know, um, in two days, some things will take 10 years, you know, two years. It's like, it just takes time. But I think you just, I I think you're real, um, you know, inspiration, really. I think it's just awesome because you're just, you again, it's just this idea of just starting. I love the idea of just starting something from nothing. It's like a lot of times people are waiting just to, oh, I just, it's only going to work for me if I get hired in the studio or stuff I work. I mean, you've created... An, an expo that is built around animation in this world, <coughs> excuse me, 
and it's uh, and you're not in the animation per se industry. Yeah, and it's like, yeah. so you can build upon something because you have, you're a fan of it and you love it and you appreciate it. So you can just, there's no right or wrong in any of this. It's just yeah. that determination which you have. It's that drive, you have that desire. And I think that's why I get behind you and support so much what you're doing in any entrepreneur because it's, and especially with the good intentions. And I've known you for a few years now and I just, every, you know, your intentions are so beautiful and so great. And I think, you know, I want to congratulate you on this. I know it's a lot of work and, um, but you know, you're doing it, you're making it happen. And it's, it's like the stock market. It's going to go up and down, you know, it's just the way things are. And, um, like you said, Everything is based on connections. We cannot do anything alone. Just think about it in your own heart. Your heart cannot pump by itself without all the other organs around it sort of helping support it within our brain cells and everything else. It's the exact same thing. And I think this is a great opportunity for young artists or our industry professionals who are already working. Just meet your friends, come out and just learn some new things and ask questions and, and be prepared to ask uh, questions um, yeah. from there. And, so. and I think a lot of it too is, is being genuine. You have to be genuine. I think people read through a lot of BS and, and they can see it. I mean, you can only, <coughs> you can only uh, fake something for so long before yeah. people start to know. Yeah. And for me, I started this expo because I wanted to go to it. Like yeah. it was an expo I would want to attend. And I think that's the difference is, I go to comic cons and I spend all my money just to get in the door and right. then I'm stuck going, okay, now I want to support all my friends and I can't even right, do that. Right, right, so yeah, yeah, It's not yeah. a selling show. It's just really cool that if you really like an artist, you Well, meet, people can go there to, to buy stuff. Like the artists, the professionals yeah. that are going to be there, they'll have yeah. their stuff if people selling are sort of artwork. interested. Yeah. For sure, for sure, and yeah. The sponsors are really cool. That's we have great. XP Pen. Um, XP Pen is like a new affordable tablet. Um, you can go and test their products. Oh, um, really? Nice. Okay. Yeah, great. it's it's really neat. I mean, it's great for college students. We've gotten some feedback. I did my research first, and um, and I've talked with a few people that have used it. I've watched YouTube tutorials, and people genuinely like. They're like, you know, you get it. You get what you pay for. Well, they have some new models that are coming out, so that's really exciting. Um, we have um, Enon Sky Studios. They're putting on their own animation that they created. Um, that's going to be coming out the end of the year, but they're promoting that, um, so they're sharing. I have Urge Palette, that's our printer, and they put on all the great like stuff that we have to print, digital banners, everything. Um, and then we have, oh, who am I missing? I feel so, so awful. Oh, come on, Sketch Sketch Zone Podcast. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, I'm Chris. super excited. Yeah, and yeah, they yeah. interviewed you, and then they interviewed me, and yeah. they're coming from Northern California, and um, that's my hometown, so I was really excited. And... Uh, so it's going to be, it won't just be, you know, vendors, there'll be sponsors that are giving away stuff and talking and, and sharing. And anyway, if anything, so yeah, fun. just, I'd say people come on out if you, if you can come on out, check it out. Um, again, be prepared with questions when you're going to just meet people. If this is an right. industry that you want to get into and you want to make some friends and also just, just ask questions hey what well, well, right. just advice you know hey look at my portfolio and all this other stuff yeah, just bring your um, sketchbooks bring your portfolio bring your sketchbook you got the drawer in there yeah. that's awesome that's yeah. great that's yeah. fantastic so, oh, we're just gonna make it fun it's yeah fun and i love it i love it i love the first year that i think you know i got so excited from the first year after that first my first year experience there I loved it so much and I'm so glad that it's going, going, going. And again, you're doing awesome and I can't thank you enough uh, for putting this together. You know, this is this is just really, this is awesome. And you'll be there and people will meet you and talk to you and you'll talk to them because you're that cool and you'll talk to anyone. Um, I will talk, but I'll be sweating and running. And, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, sure yeah. <laughs> where they got to be. But yes, I would love to say hi to everyone. Yeah. And there will be activities that you'll see there when you check in at the front desk. And it's, um, I'm gonna also going to be updating the website to where there's photos on how to park, how to get there with the map, uh, where the entrance is, everything. So there's no questions. Okay. So awesome. Constantly watching the website or Instagram and um, and you're Facebook. doing all this on your own. That's another amazing thing. It's just like this. I mean, you know, for you know you, the help, but I know what you're doing. You're marking this. You're trying to put things together. I know what it's like to be 
just that you're doing things by yourself. You're an entrepreneur. You're starting something up. You don't have a whole team of people working for you yeah. or with you. It's just like when the ideas strike, you act, and that's what yeah. you do, and that, that's, that's how right. it's sort of going. And so, then I have people like you, Chris Wimberly, all those guys that are always writing me and saying, hey, have you thought of this? Hey, maybe you should, and I need that because yeah. I'm only one person. Yeah. yeah. So I want to see it. That was another big fear was having vendors be mad or professionals be upset about stuff that – the things I can't control, there's only so much I can do. There's right. things that I overlook because there's 50 million things I have to do, sure. print, create, and... Um, hey, so all I can yeah. say, no one get upset at Eva if, any, if anything's just not... <laughs> just give her a hug Please when you see bad. her. Hey, give her a little heart like she has. I can't even do that heart that you have there on your... Like, yeah, My just give her some hands. love. Give her some hearts and uh, thank you so much for uh, taking the time to do this. Uh, this is great. So I'm going to put the information down below. Go out, check out the Ground Zero Animation Expo, June 9th and 10th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And on Saturday night, there'll be, um, if you're over 21, otherwise yeah. you can hang out outside and drink a Coke or something, right? You know? Yeah, right. So there you go. So uh, come on by. It's going to be good times. Um, thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next week. Final words, Eva? Any last final? Thank you so much for all your support Stephen, and for sharing I can't get anywhere without you guys so I, I just I can only talk to the people I know so this helps tremendously and I want to thank anyone that's thinking of uh, attending Ground Zero and if you would like to ever be a sponsor in the future or you want to get your artwork out there you can always write us and we are all about promoting artists so thank you so much beautiful I really appreciate it. all right thanks bye, bye.